Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to create a coming soon page for your website if you're still planning, creating, or preparing your site. All you need here is a free Google account and of course your web domain. So log into your Google account and go to sites.google.com. You'll see a few templates, but we're just going to start with a blank page. Let's edit the text. We're going to put coming soon. If you highlight the whole text, you can change the font. You can also increase the font, bold it, and put a color. If you hover over your background, you'll see this menu. Select header type, and you want to pick cover so it fills the whole page. You can also change the image. And I'm going to upload from my downloads folder. I have an image here that I got from Unsplash. Then click open. If you don't have an image to put as a background and don't want to search for one, Google has their own. And if you click select, you'll see all the available images that Google has. Or if you want to do a quick search, there's a Google tab here that you can use to search images. I'm going to make an adjustment on my text here because you can't see the heading. Highlight the whole text and then change the color to white. On the top left, you'll see Untitled Site. You want to change this to your website name. Now we can point this to our domain. So click the cog wheel, and then select Custom Domains. Let's start the setup. We're going to configure this using Google Domains. But if your domain provider is not Google, then you want to pick this. And if you don't have a domain yet, click Buy a Domain. So now let's configure our Google Domains. Select this, and then click Next. I only have one domain here, so it will automatically pick the domain that we want to configure. But if you have multiple domains, you want to click the drop-down list here. Ensure that redirect root domain is checked. So www.keynotedex gets forwarded to keynotedex.com. And then click Done. If you don't want this website to point to your domain anymore, click the trash bin. But that's all we're going to do. So click this, and we're ready to publish. For web address, that's there automatically, but you can change that. Once we hit Publish, this may take up to 48 hours to take effect. Ensure that who can view my website is set to anyone. If you don't want the search engine to index your site, check this box. If you are good with all that, click Publish. If you want to see how the website is going to look, click Preview over here. This is how it's going to look on a browser. If you want to see how it looks on a mobile phone or on an iPad, click this. If you're finding value on this tutorial so far, please help me out and click the like button. Once you've waited a few hours, you can test your domain. And mine works. This method only works on Google sites if you have a gmail.com email. If you have a Google Workspace account, that's a more complicated process, which I hope to create a video soon. A few things you might want to add are social media links. If you look on the right side, you'll see the social links button. You can add multiple things here. You can add an image as well by clicking Upload. I have an image for YouTube. And then you can put your YouTube link if you have one. You can add an Instagram as well. And same thing, add your links. And you can add your Twitter. If you only have one or two social media links, you can click the trash bin. If you want to add more, you can click Add Link. After that, click Insert. It's going to put your social media links on the bottom of the page, but you can easily drag it to wherever you want. I'm going to drag it right under Coming Soon. Then you want to click Publish again. It's going to show you the draft and the existing website. To confirm the changes, click the Publish button again. 
To view your website, you can click the drop down here and select View Published Site. Of course, the best test is by typing your web domain. If you need these social media links, you can go to my website, softbox.co, and on the right side, you'll see tools. The first one is social media icons. You can click the link over here. Then click the download button to get a batch of social media icons. If you want to learn more how to create a full page website using Google Sites, here's my tutorial on that. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, please leave it on the comment below and click the like button.